hi guys welcome back to another video if you're watching this video you should definitely come across our all videos on gaming setups I would like to give a short list here a steering wheel using PC mouse Arduino Uno joy based steering wheel 90 degree steering wheel along with a mechanical force system also you can find the head shifter, sequence shifter and digital pedals. So you will be able to get all these links in the description box. Now it's time for an ultimate upgrade. We are planning to make a complete force feedback gaming setup. In this FFB series, this will be the part 1 video where we will be showing how you can make your own analog racing pedals with easier steps and for less budget I'll be using the C channel aluminium bars having each side 1 cm I have cut into 6 equal pieces of 15 cm each I have drilled 2 3mm holes and 2 5mm holes at these points These are 3mm 2 inch bolt nuts. We need 6 of them. We can easily connect both the aluminium pieces to make a proper pedal frame. like this so in a similar way I have completed all the three I am using this plywood piece for the base of dimensions 40 cross 25 centimeters next we are using a 5 mm threaded rod of length 35 centimeters all the three pedal frames will go through this rod in order to mount this complete unit I'll be using two L clamps Finally, some nuts and washers to arrange these frames in a proper place. Next, in order to make this hinge mechanism, I have taken the same 5mm threaded bolt of 17cm length with a 5mm nut fixed on one side. I have simply used M seal to fix the nut. Similarly, I have made three of them. Finally, 
using a 5mm bolt and nuts. I'll be connecting the hinge mechanism in this way. I'll be mounting three more L clamps on the opposite side. For pedal press, I'll make use of some waist springs. You can go with any kind of springs based on your requirement. I'll take some washer and nuts. And this is how the springs sit here. So after adjusting the tension, you can lock on the other side of the L clamp. Just follow the same steps for other two as well. Now we are almost done with the mechanical work. Next, in order to get the pedal inputs, I'll be making use of three 10 kilo ohms normal potentiometers. And I have made simple L clamps to mount the potentiometers using a same aluminum bar. In order to make the potentiometers to rotate along with the pedal press, I have made a simple L-like structure with iron thread. Along with some wooden pieces. This is how you should connect both of them. So it's working perfect.
I have made some foot pads using thin plywood sheet. Now it's time for some paint work. Using some bolt nuts, I'm installing these foot pads. Finally, we are done with all hardware work, and this is how it looks. In this part 1 video, we have mainly concentrated on the pedals hardware. In the upcoming part 2 video, I'll be showing the steps for force feedback steering hardware. And in the part 3, we'll do connections for both of this and also the software configuration. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and also follow us on Instagram so that you don't miss any of these parts. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And also let me know in the comment section below how these pedals are looking. Thank you for watching and I'll be back in another interesting one.